Hello, in this video, we're going to talk about febrile neutropenia. Febrile is fever and neutropenia is low levels of immune cells called neutrophils. Febrile neutropenia is a complication that can occur 5 to 10 days after someone receives chemotherapy for cancer. Febrile neutropenia can lead to someone quickly becoming septic. Normally, neutrophils are the first line of immune defense, which fight off invaders such as viruses and bacteria. Neutrophils are short-lived granulocytes produced in the bone marrow from common myeloid progenitor cells. And this is through stimulation of granulocyte colony stimulating factor. Neutrophils comprise majority of white blood cells. They are motile phagocytic leukocytes that are the first cells recruited to acute inflammatory sites. They ingest, kill, and digest microbial pathogens with their functions dependent upon special proteins found in granules within the cell. Neutrophils have primary granules which contain myeloperoxidase, proteinase 3, and defensins. And they also contain secondary granules, iron chelators, lactoferrin, and digestive enzymes, all of which are important in killing, digesting, ingesting microbes. Neutrophils will actually die at the site of infection or inflammation and contribute to the formation of what's called nets. And these are essentially components of the neutrophils which are released and they help trap and kill other surrounding pathogens. Another important thing to note is that the myeloid progenitor cell line also form megakaryocytes, which are the cells which form platelets eventually. Myeloid progenitor cells also form erythrocytes, which are your red blood cells. A side effect of chemotherapy is neutropenia, which occurs 5 to 10 days after receiving chemotherapy. But in reality, chemotherapy can affect also erythrocyte and platelet numbers because they come from the same myeloid progenitor cell. And again, chemotherapy uh, agents do so because they target rapidly dividing cells, such as the myeloblasts, the precursors uh, to the neutrophils. Febrile neutropenia is defined as a temperature over 38 degrees Celsius or 100.5 degrees Fahrenheit with a low neutrophil count called the absolute neutrophil count, less than 500 cells uh, in, in the microliter or expected to decrease to less than 500 cells per microliter in 48 hours. Low neutrophil count, especially less than 500 cells per microliter, can cause serious infections because, again, the first line of defense are the neutrophils, and if they're not present, serious infections can occur. The source of infection can result from transmission of infectious agents between people or as a result of organisms that live in the mouth, the gut, Lines can become affected if the patients use it to receive chemotherapy or even microorganisms from the skin. Normally, these infections can be maintained. However, without neutrophils, a low neutrophil count, this initial defense mechanism fails. Febrile neutropenia is an emergency and requires prompt administration of empirical broad spectrum antibiotics, typically, pepracillin and uh, tazobactam, or another third generation kefosporin, such as kefapine. Prior to giving someone antibiotics, identifying the potential source of infection is important, and this involves culturing everything. Culturing blood, urine, and any lines the patient may have. If high fevers persists for more than five days, then empirical antifungal therapy may be necessary. Treatment with antibiotics can be discontinued once um, the patient 
uh, maintains an afebrile state for five days or seven days, even with a low absolute neutrophil count. The prophylaxis use of granulocyte colony stimulating factor or the granulocyte macrophage colony stimulating factor reduces the risk of febrile neutropenia. Granulocyte colony stimulating factor, we mentioned earlier, GCSF for short, is a glycoprotein which stimulates the survival, proliferation, differentiation and function of neutrophil granulocyte progenitor cells and mature neutrophils. The two forms of recombinant human GCSF in clinical use include filgrastim and lenograstim. GCSF is also used for people who already have febrile neutropenia despite antibiotic use or who have severe neutropenia expected to last for many days. Thank you for watching this video on febrile neutropenia, which is an oncological emergency. People should have broad-spectrum antibiotics commenced and also everything cultured, bloods, urine, and any lines that a patient may have.